All right, so my last video when I did the actual function testing, I was cutting off the gas flow by just letting go of the trigger. That's not really optimal long term. It wastes a lot of gas and with CO2 causes cool down issues. So one of my goals from the outset was that I was going to build a functional disconnector system. And here's what I've got so far. I just wanted to show kind of how it works before I put the other side on and this all comes hidden. So there are only three moving parts here. There's a long transfer bar, a disconnector on the top, and the trigger itself. And then back here is the valve and uh, the actuator there. So the way it works is very simple. When the trigger is pulled, you can see it comes back, it engages the valve, and it pushes it back. So now it's fully open, it's dumping gas. As the bolt comes forward, it has a catch on the underside which engages the disconnector here and pushes it down which you can see has caused the transfer bar to be able to pop forward because of that cutout on the front of it. So it's no longer going to discharge gas and the bolt is going to be able to retract. And then when the trigger is released, it snaps back into place and it's ready to fire again.